we do get the LG's answer of the support in the Nautilus, so a lot more engaged there. And uh, I feel like we have a lot of that poke and prod that we'll see in the skirmishing in the early game to the mid game. Yeah, I think we'll the mid game. see if they can actually do anything with that proactivity, because on the other side, it is Popo who needs to get involved with JJ and needs to get this mid game going for himself because the LeBlanc needs to find an end. Yeah, definitely does. Now, Bin doesn't have Counter Strike, but he does this have Leaf Strike Flash. a little bit of trouble. I need to burn that Flash here in the end. Might save it. Doesn't wow. have that heal back. The Counter Strike available. Not going <gasps> to Flash Blast in the <gasps> end. No, JJ! <laughs> That's a solo bolo for the best top laner of the LP. Oh my god, Bin. I. The. The Kahoot? No, he's he's there for as well. Flash on to leave. He's still got the dredge line as well. He's gonna lock in Mako! And that's two quick kill three for PLG! They're off to the races here! A fair amount of the lanes. I have Splash is uh -oh. short. Uh -oh. I don't think uh -oh. On has an out here. There oh. is the turret over the wall. They've got the lockdown. Blast Cone gets out. He's trying to get the edge, but JJ gets on the board for EDG. Objectives. We see, you know, already they are trying to get some vision here. Contest over this engage from BLG. They gotta be a little bit careful. On's getting engaged on so much. Soon getting low. That's the Lambsers fight down. On is gone, but here comes Elf with a lot of the damage. The Featherstorm aggressively, and Ben has arrived to get a kill himself. This is a work. Gets the kill, gets the wave on the top side, and secures his team dragon. Excellent stuff for that fourth man. Even though Fofu was rotating down, just knowing that that turnaround burst could be quite potent and powerful, he refused to actually engage in that fight, and a lot of that was just pressure building from that tower being because the control is so firmly inside of EDG's hands. Oh They're finally God. here with the game. Look out, flashes, he can't get the dragon. He's locked up CC, Bin has arrived, but he's dicey. He hasn't decided if he wants to go in yet. But here now he comes with the concussion and now it's on to leave. On gets the kill. They go right back on a shoot, but he pops the Lambs Spite. Elk is able to stack up a lot of these feathers. Bin takes down all on the side and they can't even get Shun. That's Don't commit. A little bit earlier, but I think it speaks more to the control that EDG had in the bottom side of the river at the time. Plus, on having to come out from base. His top play, well, maybe uh, he's not there. Get a little bit of love over to Fofo. And BLG will be collapsing on now. Should be a little yeah, bit Fofo's of a tricky trouble. situation. He's going to try to flash, get out, but the tipper stun is there. Not able to slow him down just yet, but Shun wants another stack here. And this will be his oh, fourth. It's been applied. So it should be a big setup here. They're going to try to speed up, but Fofo being a minute there. Okay. Been dying. I just talked about him. He got cast a curse. The TP in the mid lane. Try to stop that TP, but it does go through. Yagao makes it, but the tower falls. Shun able to. Hilarious, I think. Did he end up getting it? Uh, I don't know if he got an uh, assist off of it, actually. Well, Shun has changed his mark over. Down there. Leave a stack it up to get to that caliber. Mala a little bit caught out here. Now Elk in trouble against Fofo, but he's stacking up those feathers. The cloner, or at least the mimic. Now Yagao goes in over the wall. They've tried to find Lee, but they can't get him. Fofo picks up one. There's two down for BLG. Here comes the Lambs or Spite, but it's not enough at this point. They're going to try to flash out. Bam! The Chakrams are stacking. He tries to go in. It's a triple. And Elk will decimate a population. Population. They'll get the dragon as well off the back of it. BLG just decimate EDG. It looks so good for us. Sometimes you question mark ping your uh, teammates. Maybe there's a question oh. mark ping coming in now, but they're TPing in. BLG want this. EDG have realized that they are the prey. They are no longer the predators, and they need to run away. JJ goes down. Shun gets another kill, and the rest of the team will to move forward. They find the pick onto JJ up in the top side. Bin again. Just finds Morty Man, Camel Strike. It turns into a Baron off the back of it. And now this is where things start to look a little bit doom and gloom for EDG. Just because BLG right now, they're just working on so much momentum. As it's just that ward that maybe this spots vision, a couple man. more members, I imagine, yeah. as they rotate in. BLG's yeah, been so good picture. at vision. They have. They really, really have. I think uh, the, the biggest thing for me, obviously, the vision control, the control around objectives have been huge for BLG. But man, Elk. Coming off of being probably the brightest spot, at least for me, on Ultra Prime last year. Coming to BLG, yes, having a little bit of a rough and rowdy early part of the split. But this man has been super Kane. I don't know what the... Well, you know, the star. Uh, as now BLG... Yeah. yeah, speaking of staff, Void staff is completed for Fofo. Ooh. We have just putting up the Baron. Bin can bring multiple members down. There's only 45 seconds left, so I don't know how much this siege is actually going to grant them. But, oh, dredge line. <laughs> a little bit of a sticky problem there. Bofo's gone. 
Yeah. And now you don't have that mid lane pressure. You don't have the attempt of the little block onto any backline members. That immediately sees all that control gone. And BLG are taking down a mid in him. They might take that Ala here who has to flash away. The jaws are closing quickly. Miguel says, let's go ahead and shaft those shut as that's huge for the engage. And now the follow up on the JJ. Bid gets another kill for himself. That'll be an in hit going down here. Elk wants some more. And the feather storm has wrought just that to EDG. I asked only 30 seconds ago, how much could they really get from 40 seconds of a Baron? And the answer to that question is the bloody game. Everything. They're gonna take game number one. Uh, move up 1-0 in the series. We said the jaws close shot and it's a death roll. We'll take My lead with him. Lambda Spite is gonna keep Fofo alive, but BLG will go one up in the series. A state, you know, fallout of favor since the nerfs. I feel like he's mm -hmm. still actually playable, but it just teams, you know, they see a nerf, they go towards something else. It's not quite as oppressive as it used to be, and that's right. Yeah. I think it was in my yeah, cool down, I but... so too. Decided to pull the trigger anyway. Still finds Fofo's flash, so the return gank 4 6 still very potent. Handshake connects. Wow. And a lot of damage there. Leave getting very, very low, but they're going to go in with the engage Whoa. because JJ is here. You got Shun right behind. Elk flashes out, though. First blood Woo. should go over. No, they don't get him. There's the bell. The they finally do. They can't get a kill back in first blood to EDG. This is a scrap and a half in bot lane. The handshake doesn't connect. They can't get that kill. Oh, they finally do get a trade, but that's two to JJ. It really wants to fight this. Oh my goodness. The charm doesn't hit. Yagao goes in. They have now pulled oh. and leave. He only wow. has to flash. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, he goes back. Tragedy has struck for BLG in favor of BLG. And that is a kill pack. The dragon. Yeah, Let's see what they can find here. CC, pretty prominent. And I mean, Vin just gone in. Oh, he gets cast back. <laughs> and there's a boop and scoop. We'll see if he can try to get out of this one. He does have the CC. Nope, it's not gonna be enough. I'll like, oh my god! Oh my god! Honest killed leave. Leave, leave, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, he dodged out of the handshake. Although he can't get out of this one, he dies again. 30 seconds away from the dragon as well. Oh, the trying to go for the engage there. Yeah, maybe they can turn it around, but yeah, they will actually get their first dragon because of the pressure they were putting out and BLG on the reset. Yeah. Okay. So the teams are. Congregating around the mid lane, but also just trying to take control of this river entrance. That's an engage from BLG. You get a nice engage, and Yagao is on the flank here, Fofo. Able to get out that hostile takeover, already used the Feather Storm. Use Elk is down now as well. He gets the bailout though. Can he survive? He goes out of it now as Leave is finally firing away, and nobody is touching him. That's a double. Well traded back. I'm not entirely sure what elk used the feather storm for i think it could have been a dredge line or maybe it was the ultimate from mako i'm sure we'll get a replay of the skirmish to confirm been playing pretty objective. aggressive i'm just ensure that they're the ones picking the fight for getting flanked like this oh, there's a tp coming in from edg though on the back that's a nice double knock up they've got your cow locked down bin over the wall though ala has set a flank here bin dies to the dragon as now should have found the back line here comes the rest of the damage but edg have a big old turtle shell they use it well your gal gets the bailout those get one kill back, but it'll be a double for Fofo. Not bad, not bad again. Finds leave. Bit of a potential Josh, but that dragon will go over to EDG. Close. Close. I think, and keep on looking for it, but EDG. Oh, ready they got that one. Will they be ready for this? The tower goes down, but they've got the engage on EDG. They've got the big hostile takeover on, still alive. He gets the bailout here. They're on to leave. They're trying to get him down. The Gale Force gets him out, though. He's trying to take on the world here. He's able to survive a little bit longer, but Yagao finally gets that kill, and it is a return for Fofo getting his own. It'll be a double kill for Yagao. We'll see it as the dust settles. A three for two in favor of EDG. Three for two in favor of EDG, and they get an extra tower on the back end. This feels much better. This feels like a, a DD for Elk. They are looking at side lanes right now to take advantage of. Yeah, I feel like side lanes definitely point of pressure. I think I just feel they're like over here. They're in Narnia, man. They are so they're far away. They're coming in for bin two. Fofo goes in. Fofo's the big damage dealer, but they can't get in fast enough. The Pharaoh has gone to BLG. Oh, they got to try to find an escape. The Feather Storm comes through. They might be able to turn this now. As they find Fofo. No damage coming out. They got what they came for. There's three members stuck in the pit, though. Uh, they got to find a way out of this one. JJ goes in with the Cyclone. Two members over the wall. Soon flashes the hostile takeover used. Mako yeah. uh, get that. And, you know, EDG were willing to fall for the, for the aggression. And 
Unfortunately, it cost them the Baron. Oh, they get engaged on here. That's a cast out, and all of a sudden, Shun finds himself on the wrong side of the team. Yagao gets locked down as well. Shun should go down, doesn't get bailed out this time. Wow. Ben gets a nice little double counter strike, and Elk is starting to fire away with these feathers, but you can't get any further in because you know that On is able to handshake you in, and the Feather Storm still available for Elk. Yeah, a lot of defensive tools still there. I think that's also the, the irritants of playing against a BLG composition like this. They've got the diving tools, but also like moving in, especially to the bottom side, right? Against Elk and On. Big AOE Elk tools. Is playing Elk so is aggressively out right here. But they actually are able to take down Ola! The hostile takeover comes across, does connect the one. The tower goes down. Mako getting so low. They found leave, but the charm doesn't connect. Mako getting blasted down as Elk uses that feather storm. That's a big moonlight vigil, and the bailout is not going to be there yet again. As EDG. I, I want a little bit of extra give to this matchup because of that history. And I think four folk will be like, oh, you know. Mako, oh. there might be a dead party half for you, though. Uh, they do find Elk's feather storm on the end of it, though. A hostile takeover did get utilized. EDG in a little bit of trouble. Bo -bo! That's your main carry right now. It was 7 0. Oh! That's a thousand gold shutdown to pay. BLG stopped the soul from coming through. There's still five versus four on the map. Four, and now the back of the Baron. It's melting, Mazel. It's gone. It it's is. He's got all the Sacrums. They're TPing in, but it's going to be too late. Elk has sniped out one, though. He's got some feathers, but those Chakrams, I don't think he wants They're going to go line. Ben is going to find the flank, though. They've got to turn it around. The bailout comes through, but soon already down. You get the counter strike, but it's not enough. They don't have the front to back. The Moonlight Vendor, you got finds the back line, but he gets blown up by Leib. And he has arrived at the table, as now he's having something to say. As EDG, what a go for? He's inside the pit. They the find him out. The blue. They're going to try to go on to leave. They don't get the dragon here. They try to go for the counter strike, but Ben has left Stick himself alone. out to try. Elk versus <laughs> leave, but leave is stacked up with the chakras, and he flashes out another double kill. And BLG, they've been taking a task in those team fights. They've lost the soul, and now EDG clean house with an ace. That's the rookie of the split right there. Game one, he was shut down. A game two, it started to look like the same story. But in the later stage team fights, when he's actually allowed access to right click people, he starts murdering names. And now BLG are going to lose this inhibitor. There's a long death timer on three members. And yeah, EDG are going to look to capitalize. The beast has awoken. We have arrived at a series that goes one and one. And Leave has stepped up, woken up, and arrived in his own. EDG go to game two with a different task, a different story. They come out from the top side and on the bottom side as well. I feel like going into the into the Renata, I don't mind it, but again, I think it mm. lacks that general hard engage that I feel like EDG used so well. Is he just gonna flash over the wall? Is he gonna do it? Is he going to cut the... Cut They're going to bring Shun as well. Way. Ben's going for it. Oh. He gets the CC. He's going to go. He's and got there it. you go. Giga Ben has showed up in game. Oh, this will be... They want to go for these early stackings. They want oh. to focus the dragons. And now BLG knows. Yagao tries to go in for a flash. They do target Mako. Mako goes down. On tries to go in for an engage over the wall. You got JJ who's completed that dragon finally. But it's a pouncing maneuver for BLG. And now the oh. flash ball breaker into lead. And soon gets the kill. Okay, I'm flashing. That's a hostile takeover out the cleanse and the flash burn from leave. Dude, that sidestep from on was slick right around the handshake. Oh, they got okay. a nice engage here on the soon. He's not going down just yet. Does finally die to Fofo. Does he shoot right where they want to be? Okay, don't forget as well. Yeah, they they're gonna lightning it. crash. There is the TP coming down now. JJ oh, a little no. bit caught out on his lonesome. Just be careful or Elk will get ya. And now they're chasing down with Yakao. He goes for the flash. The cleanse comes out yet again. And that's from Fofo. We'll see some damage follow up, but nothing I mean, else. They allow the Zeri to go through, but they make the call out because they want the handshake between the Aphelios and the Zeri by removing away the kind of bigger oh, lead. Good now. First they are all there. in the lead. Uh, yeah, we did get all those item completions. You see a little bit of that gold difference in uh, the top left of your screen. Yagao 
Getting pounced on here by EDG. This could be a big pickoff before the dragon spawns that EDG really want to focus on. You got Wolfie finding oh, okay. any reprieve today. On behalf of the ride home to Tibbers as JJ picks up that. But I, I still don't think they'll be set up for this. I think EDG okay. are just going to go ahead and give this and go for the side lane plays. We did get that Rift Hero popped by BLG in the bottom side. They got a tier two and now oh, no. leave. Bye -bye. Oh no! They've got out a little bit of the bot lane as Mako has gone down. Leave can't get the damage back onto BLG and that's a big pounce. Yeah, that is a big pounce. Real nice chunk. They find Mako and now for sure it's just confirmed that this should be a BLG Dragon, if the charge in the top side wasn't enough for you. Uh, oh. 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 You just really want no to tower, okay? But now the darkness will start to consume the map from EDG. See, rather, the Ryoga's support really popping off on a signature pick right now. That was out from five to two now in terms of turrets. And now they're going to wrap around. Focus on the Fofo. He has that Banshee, oh, but nice. it's already popped. And the CC chain is too much. Yakao gets the move. Kid. Scoop, uh, scoop away at least. Maybe Elk wants to continue chasing down. He actually flinches. Oh, right Elk up. wants it. Did you know that Elks yep. can jump eight vertical feet? And that will be Ben, the Crocodilian, who actually picks up the kill. But Elk himself able to fire down so oh, much. Doesn't want to commit the flash in an attempt to get away. Oh, Mako, how much trouble is he in? That's a lot of trouble, I would say, as Bailout comes through. There will be none today yet again for another game as Leave actually getting clipped by that Ultra Shock laser. It should be BLG circling back around to try to catch out Fofo and Jeje. Yeah, Fofo. What can they do? It's on the opposite side of the map. They're buying so time. Jeje. I mean, that's not going to be a barrier takedown. At the very least, they won't be a Baron takedown, which is probably they made a the positive full thing. circle. I love it. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, did Ollie get caught though? That's the dangerous part about this kind of situation. Well, makes that one come through. EDG give up this dragon. The rotation was <laughs> it was a rotation. Started from EDG. They're gonna just engage straight onto the mech. No, he doesn't. He finally gets the Meganar, but the health bar is already gone. And oh. here comes Elk. Elk has arrived. And you remember how I said, where's that 900 pound? Like you say. 900 pound monster three items and he just thought heavy jungle and elk obviously on his zeri but it's also about how they piloted it and two of yet over the wall no it won't but they'll spot him face to face they'll now see him when he walks right up to him uh we'll see though jj got out and that's no good soon it will get gonna slowly chip away at these towers regardless top side it's not a chip it's just a straight up take edg it is indeed losing their structures they're looking at a couple more followed here as well. And I think BLG on the blue side for the first time in this series have shown what happens when they get a lot of this comfort, right? When Zeri is let through, when Rakan is let through, but yeah. especially when you give Bin the options, right? Like he was able to pick into Allah. He was confident in this Renekton pick and it worked out for him. The toys rose up. We were talking about small soldiers, but well, oh, they're man. big soldiers now. Oh. And BLG have done it. They've destroyed EDG in game three. And we'll see them put the finishing touches here. Do they want some more kills? Do they want to focus on the Nexus? Maybe a little bit of both. As now it's EDG trying to go on to Ben. He heals up so much though. And you're already losing this fight. Maganar into the wall. But here comes BLG onto your base. The rookie of the split leave gone. And BLG put EDG into a haymaker type situation. As game three goes down, easy does it. And we're gonna need a response from EDG here or the MSI ticket goes to BLG. BLG won their first class over to London. Bit, hey, maybe right they're gonna send them to over it. to Redicton. Right back to it. Croc on R5, not bad. And yeah, it, for me, BLG's composition, we focused on it a lot, is really just about taking the EDG, but the big one went over to Shun. We'll see back onto the map going to this top side scuttle. Did not win the RNG Whoa. this time, though. Ala might be winning this solo matchup up here. Got his hands on the jacks and looking for a solo kill in the bin. He wants Maybe it. Maybe going under tower. Wants to go for it. And there you go. Ala has been. It's a 4v3. Yeah, and Om's on his way. So it's about to be a 4v4 if things actually kick off. They're going to try to go on Bin. That's Frozen Tune used. The death sentence not going to go through with the counter strike, but it's Jezye who gets the. Just send it. The event rises, That's which keeping oh. space. Oh, hello. 
EDG actually going for it a little bit more. They've gotten leave into oh. the fight now as well. Over the wall, though, with that rocket grab. But it's JJ who picks out Jun. Match the snowballing potential here. Yikau's just walking in. He's like, ah, I'm going to try to contest this one. The spike comes through, though, and it's an easy secure for EDG. Across the map, and Ben might be biting off a little bit more than he can chew as Mako does not hit the death sentence, but there's the Frozen Tomb yet again. And it's the CC chain that follows every time that gets ya. Allah will get a second. Prank, but we've seen it once or twice where there hasn't been enough burst oh. damage. Elk being slow. He has to use the Feather Storm. They're gonna get the grab in oh. on Popo. They've gotten one kill, but they got the reset back. On has fallen. They gotta try to get back into the fight if they can. On the way. Jay has missed Frank. Oh. What? Oh, that. you got close, as now Yagao gets stolen down the lane. The spike comes out now, though buying a lot of space and a lot of time. Elk will be stacking up those feathers, but is it enough? Oh. He does! He gets the steal, and now Elk is far and away at BLG! I've turned the... He presses our key, execute Yagao, and then take the form and snowball the fight again. Excellent stuff. Someone in this top side to end up jungle and try and take this red buff. Usually they say there's an elephant in the room, but now there's an elk in the room, and it's 900 pounds again. He say goes again. Now they will be putting focus more so in the okay. bin here for EDG, and Super I think that's going to get it. It's a huge gold injection. He's already got the Divine Sunderer as well, so just getting closer and closer. It's that two item spike. A little more attack. Oh, goodness, he's got so much. It feels as if all of a sudden they can at the very least take some control back, right? It felt like EDG had all the range. It does down. get pushed down. They'll take it. This charge comes in. They would corral to a second Ooh. okay that's always the give and take Shun. between those two though that's a flash counter strike on a two members and Shun will have to pop that lamp to spike the death sentence does not connect but leave shuts down on you gotta look for out though as the resets have already come through that means the fight is lost by blg he gets a nice little turn back around for the primordial burst of yakao that's right but having to be uh, a little bit defensive on the flash but as soon as that overset comes in on the potential response from blg fofo just pounces and, oh, uh, oh on gets caught again. Mako gets that kill. Death sentence connects on a Shun, who does not have lambs to fight this time, but they turn back around on a Fofo. He got locked down by the Event Horizon, and that's another kill to get Gal. Okay, Gal finds another one. 202, not bad. Uh, maybe. We'll see if it pays off for them. This is the make or break moment. Potentially the oh. dragon, or the Baron, has already got over. They've also caught out Shun. He didn't have. I used when I was coaching, don't open up onto the map with Baron on three lanes because that's that's what happens. You get picked off randomly when you don't have the wave synced up. The LG have been taking oh towers off this pick, which is going to feel really, really good. Do it. We have the LG that have to back off. That's sold point for EDG. Yeah, not bad. They'll take it. Arla, how much are you willing to give for this red buff? Not enough. <laughs> back away. <laughs> Jump on the hex gate. That's the leap strike already used. Should be able to set this up though. Allah looking to take it, does flash away as the Grandmaster's might, but it's not gonna be enough, and who's delivered the gold? It is Ben. Right. Mm, I don't know, Leap has got pretty good AOE guns right now. This is risky, BLG. How much do you really want to fit this? It's so risky. Hoping and a prayer here soon he is in the pit. He gets the Baron. Paula's on the back line. Elk gets locked down, but he's got the Feather Storm, the Blade Collar. It comes through, but it's not enough. And now EDG, they're firing away with all hands on deck. They lose one, but Yagao can't take down Lieb. He should be taken down now. The Heartbreaker not utilized, but it's still a cascading wave from the Edward Gaming. Just in the pit. And it's like... Shooting ducks in a barrel, fish in a barrel, not ducks in a barrel. I guess it still works in this context. Take your pick. Take your pick. EDG. They've got one kind of minion. They don't get the Baron, but they should be able to just break open the base, get the inhibitor. Here's the wave. They lose Baron. I don't think they care. They should be able to retreat and get the soul as well. They have enough time for that. Even though they lose the Baron, they still get the permanent buff, and they'll be able to go back to a side lane siege up. I will say though, BLG's composition, a fair amount of wave clear just with the Vagar existing. So again, turtling very possible for BLG. And EDG still will have their work cut out for them to end this game. They will indeed. He doesn't actually have a teleport, so that's a big deal. He's gonna have to walk it over here, he's ghosting. Oh, but that's game. For it. They find the hook though, maybe on the should no, he flashes away. Finn is gonna go down though. 
This event horizon comes through. Jian Jian gets oh. bursted from the primordial. And that's a nice little trade back. Jungle down means EDG can't do the dips here. Nope, they can't. Elder spawns in 30 seconds time. It's 4v5, yes, but you have a jungle of BLG. And you've got the guilt on the on. He's fine. Oh, but they foul. Oh, foul they got the counter strike in. Ala, though on is in trouble now as well. The Lambda Spike out. Has to cleanse. Oh, has no. to get into the Lambda Spike. Blasts out, but Ala, once he's oh, found you, he will not stop. And EDG, they're trying to pick apart BLG. They do just that. Oh, oh, can't find your go. To a game five. He finds Elf, Elf who said, if he's got the space, he'll dish out the damage to try and close out this game and bring it all to Silver Scrapes in the game five. And that's absolutely going to be a have to find Leave once. And that's it. Finds Leave. Objective accomplished. Leave has been doing a really Hook good job. Down. Down. They're going to go oh, into yeah. Allah. He finds the back one yet again. Yeah, Gal has to go away, but the event horizon has separated to space. They focused oh. on Allah, but he gets the Lambs just by heal as well. He finally gets the GA burn, but Leave has Leave. been untouched this whole time. And he has come online. Long have we waited. EDG activated. We're going to Silver Strike, baby. We're going to game five. It took a long damn time, 41 minutes on the clock, but EDG will break the defensive formation of BLG. It took one engage from Fofo, but they find- A monumental carry for BLG in last game, right? And I think that's an opt-in yeah. here. It is the Malphite pick, a little bit of extra gumption given by his coach there, and you love to see it. The opt-in- It's when, and what will it actually give? BLG. Nice little lockdown on the Mako. They have to burn that exhaust. There's an in-game though. Nice 2v2. Although Fofo goes down first. And that'll be a trade pack. Now it's jungle calm. That's so powerful. And you have the opportunity definitely to just be down here and take it. And they trade it. What is it? It's an infernal as well. So and I feel like just allowing Fofo uh -oh. a little bit of freedom to leave. That's Much a trouble. death charge. You don't have anything left except for the flash. The Mega. Oh, it's on that gets the kill of the end. I don't care much about but again, it feels like a very similar story to last game where you've got Yagao on Vagar, who's going to scale mm. up, and the turtle, the wave clear, is going to be super obnoxious. And EDG, Ooh, I actually like that play. Yeah. Except it might be a little bit in trouble. Oh, they're going to oh. collapse, though. They found Elk, and that is the bane of every ADC ever, is when a Malphite shows up and decides... V5, we're getting the TP from Fofo on the side. It is a flank. Bin is already in place, so there's no flank coming out. Fofo, they're looking bit. for, they know where they need to focus. Look on the other side, Mako's already down. There is a trade now, but that's a big tool down. The Slicing Nelson didn't get much, but they oh, find Fofo. Fofo, who doesn't have any Spirit Rush anymore. As now the dragon, the focus for BLG, Jed yeah, yeah, goes over the side. This might be a third dragon, but it feels like we're on the precipice of a cliff that JDG is on to Elk, or it'll be focused on the Bin, because those are the big, Team fight changers right now for BLG. Although EDG trying to catch out a little bit, they will have to TP in all. Oh. As now they actually catch a charm, and now odds in trouble. There's the unsolved force again, and the cease and desist on to get Gal. But here comes Bin, and he wants some revenge. That slicing maelstrom wreaks havoc. Leave has found a flank on the other side. The Mega Death Rocket comes across, but it's not enough damage. And now BLG have stepped too far forward. They've gotten the resets off. They will find Leave on the other side, but the Event Horizon can't soon make the difference. I think he might be able to. It's a quadra, quadra kill for Ala. Is it gonna be a penta? And they're gonna give it to him! No, he heals up! And there you go! A pentakill for EDG! One more thing I will say, silver lining, those kills aren't gone on, going on to a carry. But he's going on three the man! As though he's locked out though! And they don't have the recess this time! I feel like oh, EDG no. were a little bit overzealous! He wasn't there, Moonlight Vigil wasn't available, he couldn't follow up at range with the extra AoE. And they get turned around on, all of a sudden now Baron's on the cards. Turn around, they, they get can't me! Sleep. Oh, but that's a big event horizon as well. They go straight back on the shoot, but now they're still getting damage down. Finn, that's a big damage moment from Yagao, and Elk is getting excited. BLG, the rain. They'll take it, surely. Teleport's coming in from Fofo. Oh, what goodness. the hell? Oh, okay. Fire Dragon's going down. Mega Death Rock. Oh! You've got to be oh kidding my God. me. They'll EDG get the power is desperate. They want the engage. 
the slicing maelstrom's on top of it all they find elk the moonlight vigil comes through though leave able to pop down a lot of Miss caliber elk. damage and edg they clean house on the blg but a big shutdown goes back over to yagao oh they got bit and they got the baby cage crucially as well as on the backside, Lee finds a massive caliber moment to put out the DPS. Yeah, it goes forward. golden. They're gonna wrap around. Ben is on the other side though. They know there's a timer clicking here. And they gotta be a little bit careful. Ala in some trouble ben. himself. He's gonna have to pull the ulti. Ben. Here comes Ben! And Ben has found the back line! You've got Lee with the red. He's able to fight, but he's stuck. He can't get out. Hey, BLG! They dominate yet another team fight! And it's about the way they pick apart EDG! We just said Bin can't find a big ultimate, otherwise EDG are gonna struggle. And what does he do? Five seconds later, he does just that. Elk goes mostly untouched. I don't think that teleport's coming he through. No. Oh my god! No way! This is a heck of a push! This should be a tier two down, but EDG! They fall out the wayside here! Oh, grasping. I, they are grasping here. They are trying to get something back. The rocks are slipping beneath their very feet, and they feel like they gotta find something. It's feeling a little bit desperate, though, as Ben has found the back, and big stuns come across, and every time you come to knock at BLT's door, it's Elk, it's Ben, it's the carries of Billy Billy that will lock in the first ever M MSI trip for Billy Billy Gaming. BLG are making a trip to London. They're making a revenge tour to finals against JDG as they take down EDG in five games of a blood bar. EDG tried their damnedest, but it's just not enough because Bin is too powerful and Elf will not be stopped on those resets.